Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Ayer. You know, if you have been following American politics, it was alleged that the 2016 presidential elections had Russian interference and in 2020 it had Chinese interference. And now in India, in the 2024 Lok Sabha elections, comes news that eight foreign countries are aiding regional parties as well as several NGOs established in India to create some sort of an atmosphere that would make it much more harder for Narendra Modi to come back for a third term. To talk more about this, I have a guest, Delhi R. Rajagopalan. And Rajagopalan ji, Namaskaram and welcome to P. Guru's channel. Namaskar, Namaskar sir, Namaskar sir. <laughs> uh, Rajagopalanji, my head is now bursting at the scene. <laughs> I want to know what are the eight countries that are wanting to help the regional parties to fight Modi, to uh, make Modi lose in 2024. Sir, there is no opposition. Why are they wasting their money, sir? <laughs> Namaskar uh, to P Guru viewers and also to Mr. Shri Ayer. I saw a very interesting thing, purple color. What is that, sir? Purple. You have put it in your banner. And, you know, starting from that, you know, we are having saffron in India, not purple. India is saffronized. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. India is saffronized and America is purpleized. Well, um, uh, Rajagopalanji, what happens is uh, in U.S., there are, there's by and, by and large, a two-party system. There are yes. fringes like liberal, green and so on, but they don't really get any congressmen or senators and uh, forget about getting becoming a president. So when a red state becomes blue because of a swing, it goes through the color purple. Likewise, when oh. a blue state goes to red and when it swings it blue from blue to red, it goes through purple. So the idea is that whenever there is a purple in play, that means it's an either or. It could go this way, it could go that way. But if somebody influences things, it could go the way they want it to go. That is why this thing is called. This is a book that I wrote. It's a book of fiction about the 2020 elections, how China might have, I won't say that did, might have influenced the elections in 2020. So India, who are the eight countries, sir? The eight, eight countries, I would like to come to that point a little later, uh, Mr. Ayer. The reason so being... keeping me hanging. <laughs> okay, yeah, keeping you hanging. And second thing, my understanding of the entire system is different, Mr. Ayer. Yes, my sir. understanding is totally different. The reason being, purple, saffronized, black, green, red, all colors have come into the world. You know, if you take uh, China, it's a red, totally red. So uh, China's general council meeting and Xi Jinping's, you know, taking over again, red is becoming darker red. So the colors play an important role. Coming to the point of eight countries, Mr. Ayer, I have authentic information. Evidence, with evidence I speak. I don't speak on the mid-air. You know, I, it, it is not in my wire to give you a false information. So the things are uh, very bad for India because India's economic growth, India's defense preparedness, India's defense policies, India's self-reliance in, in defense matters. Apart from that, the recent survey of uh, uh, International Monetary Fund has also given a, a, a inducement for the eight countries to go all against India. They started with, you know, eight uh, uh, countries. They are in an uh, alliance with uh, uh, each other. They are competing to ensure that in 2024, Narendra Modi does not do a hat trick. And uh, Mr. Narendra Modi's, you know, popularity is on the high. Because these eight countries, ambassadors, high commissioners based in Delhi, also give a report to the respective governments about the popularity of Mr. Narendra Modi. So therefore, rattled from eight you know, sides, Ashtavadhani, what they say in Sanskrit. So Ashtadikha. Yeah. Ashtadikha, yes. And mm. you know, yet they say, in Tamil they say. So yes, yes. Uh, it's, it's uh, because of defense. We don't buy defense equipment from any country, no kickbacks. Those who are in the mafia, you know, they are uh, defense lobbyists, defense mafia. They are also into it. So it's very perplexed the situation and I am you know, very uh, eager to share that information. Yesterday in Sydney, Mr. Ramya Varan, the Hindu Swayam Sevak Sangh 
you know, general secretary in charge of the Asia Pacific, he convened a meeting of top, uh, you know, people in uh, Sydney, those who have uh, Hindu affiliations and also right wings. So I addressed them. They thought the process and they asked me many questions. One of them was also this one. So I explained to them, I am happy that you are showing all the pictures and you also going through NGOs, also working on conversions. Yes, that is also one threat for India, which is facing apart from that, you know, uh, Corona effects. So the eight countries name, you are very curious. I have some reservations in revealing that. I don't want to do that because you said it about uh, China. You wrote it in your book. I had the opportunity to go through the book. You explained it very well. So let us wait for 2025 so that I will also copy you, clone you and write a book about the eight <laughs> countries, 25. <laughs> That's an excellent suggestion, Sarji, and all the best to you. I'll I'll bring you on channel to help you promote uh, this book <laughs> <laughs> whenever that takes form and shape. Be uh, because the, the, this year, this eight countries, Mr. Ayer, these eight countries have been funding some regional parties. These eight countries have been instituting their chairs in universities, Indian universities. These, univers these uh, eight countries have uh, clandestinely encouraging color type of things, Lavanya type of th things. So therefore, we have to be very serious. P Guru is doing a wonderful service by exposing them so that our audience get a, a clear cut articulation. When India is moving towards self-reliance, International Monetary Fund said you are in fifth uh, economic power in the world, like over surpassing even United Kingdom. What does it indicate? Despite Ukraine, despite you know you are uh, uh, Corona, you have come up. Second most important thing, though I am not a very uh, regular student of Indian diplomacy. Occasionally, I get to know because politically, what is that politicking is my, uh, you know, blood and my, uh, my interest in uh, that is my bread and blood. So uh, international diplomacy. Can you believe Mr. Ayer? Israel gone closer to UAE. Now Israel is getting closer to Pakistan. What does it mean? You say about purple, saffron, red, etc. Why this green it's is going, going green? Towards, uh, <laughs> Israel is going green. <laughs> I, said it, I said it. I said it. Israel is going green and uh, uh, Pakistan is going white. Why? So things are in the international development are sort of very, uh, very fast taking over on one each other. And in that, I am happy. Out of five tall leaders, one of them is uh, Mr. Narendra Modi. That is why the scare of Narendra Modi in eight years. And his abrogation of 370 in 2019. These are all certain things which give headache to the international leaders. So they have instigated uh, university students. Can you believe a, a country's student sitting in a part of Tamil Nadu for the last three months and that lady is only 24, 25 years. She is working against Tamil Nadu and against India, against uh, uh, BJP, against Narendra Modi. Why should our system allow that? Because the regional parties are supporting, they don't, you know, take cognizance of such presence. I am also sure in Odisha, I understand that three uh, students are working on a project. So why they get the samples? Why are they doing that? For example, Gujarat elections. I know there are 25 to 30 foreign powers, university students, NGOs, they are all in Gujarat. They want to corner Narendra Modi in Gujarat. After that Morbi incident also, they want to magnify it. In that, Mr. Ayer, I am also saying there is a systematic effort for the last two, three years, especially after 2019, CAA, Kisan agitation. Why should uh, you know countries help uh, the Kisan agitators? Why should uh, UAE also come into internal problems of uh, one gentleman saying, provoking one lady and that lady said something and it created an international uh, headlines? So, so we, we have to be a little cautious and that uh, I know you are curious to know from me eight countries. I won't so reveal I'm, it. I'm going to take a guess, sir. Rajagopalanji, I'm going to take a guess. These two papers are going to be crucial for you. 
But yes, uh, yes, I, yes. Will, I will preserve it for my book in 2025. <laughs> sir, I, I'll take a few. Uh, I just want to make a couple of observations, sir. Um, there was a very noted comedy writer called uh, Crazy Mohan. And his first movie, uh, first drama was Crazy Thieves in Palawakam. Tamil uh, co comedian, comedic writer, excellent comedy. I mean, he did the equivalent of Mrs. Doubtfire uh, in uh, in Tamil called Avvai Shanmugi. It's something, I mean, he did some movies with Kamal Hasan. Those are like all-time greats. Appu Raja, another one that Hindi also done in, got done in Hindi. So when he was coming up as a, a writer, comedy script writer, he had one episode where he plays also the role of the quiz master. And okay, okay. Uh, he, there are three or four teams. So he and and one team wants to lose at any cost. The other team wants to win. So he asked this losing team, you know, he says, you know, who was India's first prime minister? Because this team knows the answer, but don't want to win. They say, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Then he says, <laughs> if you don't know, I'll give you a hint. The yeah. name starts with Ne and ends with Ru. And, and they still say, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know, we don't Achha, know. You are then, coming then to say, my point now. Now you develop the story, I can understand. <laughs> then, then he then says, he... there is nothing in between. And still they don't want to tell. Sir, like that you are not telling. I'll take a guess, sir. The usual suspect. United States, Canada, United Kingdom, UAE, Qatar, Pakistan, China. Sir, only two are left, sir. Please tell us what the other uh, two why are. Why did you leave our country who helped, uh, got help from Mr. Narendra Modi, 45,000 crores? Oh, why Sri should Lanka. that country, okay. huh, why should that country allow a government order to be used by Sri Lanka? Uh, you, why should they use it? Why should Chinese ship come then? And why should Pakistan send drones in Rajasthan, Gujarat and uh, Bihar, Punjab? Why Mr. Ayer? You said all the countries. There is no need of my writing a book because you said everything. <laughs> no, no, I left out one. <laughs> <laughs> and, and interestingly, Mr. Mr. Narendra Modi's hat trick in 24 is assured Mr. Ayer. That is why this international community is rattled. The way in which yesterday the uh, Hindu uh, deep roots in Australia, the, the, the amount of you know, services they have done, you can't explain that. There are a few tall leaders like Mr. Ramiyavaran and I have met Mr. Shanmuga Priyan, very young Tamilian budding person, Manjunath from Karnataka, Sandhya Reddy, she is a counsellor. She is from Stratefield Counsellor. She is very active and Prakash, Balaji. There is one Tamil Chamber of Commerce for which Mr. Thiru Armugam is the president and he is much closerly involved in Tamil Nadu politics. Apart from that, Mr. Pranav Agarwal, who is an you know, internationally known person. So these are all the persons who attended yesterday. They picked up certain things from me. They provoked me. I did not know the purple. Otherwise, I would have played up with the color also yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and, and, today, and today, very interestingly, as we speak, as we you know, record this episode, the, uh, uh, the Australian authorities are very serious in understanding what is the intention of India. Why should India is wanting that, you know, we should distance from China. And, you know, there is a policy shift in Australia taking place from Labour government, though they have not taken up a particular policy stand. Now we must introduce purple and green and orange in Australia also. Otherwise, you know, they may not know what is happening. As you said, this midterm election is being held in US. Things are that, you know, Trump is returning to power in 2024. Therefore, Mr. Narendra Modi is retaining his power third term. International level, Brazil had a new uh, prime minister and uh, Italy has a new prime minister. Things are evolving. China's retention, USSR retention. A short while ago, there was a gunfire and bombardment at Mr. Imran Khan's rally. So, international level things are not you know static; it is dynamic. So, India is also Katie. If you analyzed, if you have properly heard Mr. Narendra Modi and analyzed it, read it in between the lines of Mr. Narendra Modi's speech from Red Fort. The expansionist policy of a particular country, he said, he meant China. He did not name the country. From rampant of Red Fort in August 15th, when Mr. Narendra Modi could speak that, he had that, you know, uh, control over his uh, electioneering style. 2024 is reassured for Mr. Modi. 
because the trailers are eight elections to the state uh, assemblies one is uh, uh, gujarat uh, himachal pradesh and the eight uh, other states are going to polls in 2023 and second thing mr ayer 2023 is going to be year of narendra modi as i said in the previous hangout also i would like to elaborate it new parliament house in 2023 is a major victory for mr narendra modi 2023 ram mandir is coming in 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 uh, australia when i was giving more than 45 to 50 minutes i was talking to the elite community of australians including some you know legis uh, uh, legislature what do they say uh, corporate uh, you know no not the corporate members of parliament in, Members, members of, of parliament yeah. and of, of parliament and councillors i i could see their interest in asking about the uniform civil code why mr narendra modi is not introducing ucc now my reply to them was very simple as you analyze mr narendra modi in 2019 he brought article 370 abrogation after he was given a full fledged majority in the parliament 330 mp so therefore i also uh, had a very interesting uh, conversation during mr arun jetli's lifetime with uh, the honorable prime minister he said char saal to hona chahiye implementation ke liye that is why me 2019 me kar diya so similarly ucc also he ensured that there is an articulation all five states have now formed a committee gujarat uttarakhand uttar pradesh you know rajasthan rajasthan the bjp has proposed it in election manifesto so once mr narendra modi comes back to power in 24 he had that all the uh, agendas of national manifesto of uh, bjp is full or fulfilled ram mandir fulfilled 370 fulfilled what the ucc is baki hai so coming to that artic- uh, articulation 2023 the full year january february march april the until end g20 meeting sco meeting sanghai cooperation meeting whether mr xi jinping will attend that meeting or not is a big question mark and the new prime minister of pakistan will he attend or not that is also another question mark <laughs> no no first of all we have to find out who the new prime minister at that point will be yeah, there will be four prime ministers in pakistan at that time <laughs> <laughs> so coming to that are you hinting that, that they are going to break up into four not now in the in the near future yes it's it's going to happen because we have a very uh, very interesting time with uh, pakistan thanks to mr narendra modi's abrogation of 370 they are rattled and coming to the main question topic of our uh, discussion what are the regional parties the interesting aspect mr ayer as i have covered the indian parliament and also 10 general elections not one or two my observation is why we talk about only regional parties why did we not talk about uh, congress so coming to that point unless congress gets 150 lok sabha seats mr ayer my subject of uh, you know uh, topic would be if congress gets 150 then there is a alternate government to modi otherwise no will congress get 150 with mallikarjun karge i am asking you I don't think so, sir. But yesterday, Mr. Rahul Gandhi has tried a new tactic. He was whipping himself. You know, get the whip. He was trying to whip himself left and right. So maybe he is punishing himself. I don't know, sir. What are your thoughts? In Kabali Sura Temple in Mailapur, there used to be a sura kollai, a masana kollai, that type of you know whipping your own self and getting hmm. bled. Immediately, that gentleman takes a bowl and you put eight anas. One rup- those days, anas were that when I was young in Chennai, mm. when I mm. was still studying in a college. So I we also put four anas. That is twenty-five mm. paise. So like that, one has to put money in Ra- Rahul Gandhi's kitty. Coming to analyzing these regional parties, twenty twenty-four is going to be Narendra Modi's hat trick. Twenty twenty-four is going to be Narendra Modi versus eight regional, ten regional parties fight. No Congress in that. Can you imagine? Sonia Gandhi quietly left New Delhi and said, "Is going to settle down in Shimla." So Rahul Gandhi is going on a Bharat Jodo Yatra. What will Mallika Jankar Ke do? Yesterday, Sachin Pilot gave a headache to Mr. Mallika Jankar Ke, saying that uh, Prime Minister Modi and Ashok Gehlot are coming together like Gulam Nabi Azad. Ashok Gehlot will also launch a regional party. Where will Congress go? He says that openly. So, Congress is out of the picture of 2024. It's a cakewalk for Mr. Narendra Modi. That is what I would like to conclude, Mr. Ayer. 
Well, um, last, lastly, sir, um, so the regional parties are getting funding. This has been something that has been happening for a long time. In fact, I will tell you, sir, personal experience. That is the, that is the reason, Mr. Iyer, you provoked me. I have to complete this. I, I have to put a full stop to this. Don't move, come on. That is the reason <laughs> why enforcement directory is going after four or five political parties. Satyendra Jain in ED net, Anil Deshmukh in ED net. These are all certain connotations. Money comes from through some other source. Mr. Narendra Modi knows about it. A senior Congress leader jokingly told me, we don't know where Rajasekhar Reddy left the money and J.B. Patnaik left the money for Congress funds. But Narendra Modi knows it. <laughs> so therefore, Narendra Modi has the power today, a enforcement director, a CBA. Now I could make out the international ramifications are making Narendra Modi to go after regional parties. And um, the, the the overreaching thing here is a stable India is a must in this unstable geographical region of the world, especially with uh, China, you know, rattling its saber every day. We don't know where they're going to attack Taiwan, Senkaku Islands, India, everywhere. So I think I will see, uh, I see something like a, a more, uh, you know, coming together of some of the like-minded democracies. Hopefully that will happen after November 8th because both... Congress and Senate will are expected to have a Republican majority that will, you know, Biden will have to be, will at least most of the more outlandish ideas of Biden won't pass now. So maybe that will break it and then we'll pave way for a 2024 Republican presidency. We'll have to wait and see. And, and, and but, do you say that uh, Mr. Uh, Biden will be a lame duck president? Most likely, yes. Most likely, so that, yes. If that concludes, can we also take it in a lighter vein? There is a proverb in Tamil, Yane varum munne mani ose varum pinne. The elephant comes later and the bell of the elephant comes first. So if you uh, put that adage, Twitter taken over by uh, our friend, and that also heralds Mr. Trump's return? It's possible. Anything is possible. There's also another very strong candidate that the Republicans have. Uh, the governor of Florida, DeSantis. So most likely there will be a primary matchup between Trump and DeSantis and we have to see who comes through on that one. Trump was not expected to win the 2020 election primary, Republican primary. Remember uh, Raj Anji, he was a Democrat first. <laughs> he had a lot of friends in the Democratic Party. On a whim, he decided that I'm going to run for president and then he just said, I'm going to run on Republican ticket. And that's how he got himself elected. It's a, it's, a, it's a very charismatic man. You may not agree with him. You may not, uh, you know, approve of some of his ways in which he does things. But it cannot be, uh, you know, doubted that for four years he kept United States out of any new wars. There was peace. North Korea was behaving. Uh, China was afraid for the first time, I think, in many, many years. So a lot of things that he kind of got, got things under control. So we have to wait and see how this plays out. But thank you very much, Rajagopalanji. And uh, <laughs> we, we, we will see how things play out. And uh, you, you, we, are, we are still eagerly awaiting for your book because who knows, there may be some <laughs> surprise elements, one or two. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Namaskar. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaskar. Thank you, sir.